we so dangerous. My flip mode squad is dangerous. So dangerous, we so dangerous. My whole entire unit is dangerous. The filth, scum, pig, these are some of the terrible things the police is called. Other things include the fuzz and the fuzzy muff. <laughs> but you've got to give the flange respect, because they is keeping the streets safe from the most dangerous weapons. This is Detective Superintendent David Hatcher from the police. He is here to show us some of the terrible weapons that Brothers is using on Brothers every day. Ain't that right? Now, what is this? Right, this is a... Uh, it basically, it's two bits of wood. It's called a, ch a chucker. Sometimes it's called a flail. So where can you get these kind of things from? <laughs> Well, you can't buy them in this country legally. For real. So which countries can you buy these things from? Uh, I'm not going to advertise where uh, they can come from. For real. What has we got in here? Right, this looks like a... This is actually a very small knife, a dagger, that, uh, oh, nice. as you can see... That is an interesting thing. And how much is one of these? <laughs> what? Right. I've no idea. Aye, for real. <laughs> so what about this? Is this well dangerous? That is wicked. What is that? I've never seen that before. What is that? Is that well dangerous if you go like that? And then, like, flick that around. What is that? Dangerous anyway, you look at it, isn't it? I mean, it's got a sharp point, it's got a blade. That uh, is mental, it's... man. I ain't never seen any, anything like that. How would you carry that like that? Or... So, what if you was, let's say, in the kitchen, you was chopping carrots with a machete or something, because you don't have anything, and then the phone ring, and then it slip into your sock, and you don't know, and then you was running to get a bus, and it fall into someone's arm, you know, a couple of times. Is that legal or illegal? You've got a wild imagination. I that means thinking I about would, the law. Would that I'd be legal or illegal? I'd say that's absolutely illegal? illegal. No court is going to believe that that sequence of events was really likely to occur. So would this be legal to carry around with you? Because that is... No, because that's designed only for one purpose. Uh, I mean, you, for you, you couldn't convince me that you'd got that with you for anything legal. What if you just said you got it for your packed lunch or something? <laughs> I'd like say convince the court, Ali, because uh, I don't believe you. You're coming with me. Ah, uh, where? <laughs> What not? If you like. What do you mean? <laughs> because right, you'd be right, you're saying you're <laughs> pretending to be in the fit. I, was, I didn't understand what you were talking about. <laughs> okay. okay. Cool. What kind of excuses do a court believe with knives? It, if, if it's the truth and if it's reasonable, right. then hopefully the court will believe it. What For I'm not going to do is to give you a list of things that I would suggest a court might believe because you could use that excuse for and real? it not really be true. So has you ever come in contact with a criminal who can put in a hand into someone's body and take out the heart and just... <laughs> like that? <laughs> because they, I know they've seen that in the films and whatever, but they say if he was really trained at Kung Fu or whatever, you can do that. There may be somebody who can. It's Aye. news to me. Aye. So what is you going to be doing with all these weapons afterwards? <laughs> Well, they'd be taken to a, an iron foundry, they'd all be melted down and destroyed. So, would you auction them? <laughs> what, what about if it was for charity? Not even for charity. All right, thank you very much, Chief thank Superintendent. You. Big up, respect.